Welcome to College Football Legends, where we dive deep into the incredible stories of the game's greatest heroes. In our inaugural episode, we'll bring you the unforgettable tale of a dynamic player who left his mark on the gridiron by leading his team to a national championship. He's also known for pioneering an offensive attack that would take the college and pro ranks by storm. So join us as we unveil the remarkable story of this Alabama Crimson Tide legend. This is the story of wide receiver David Palmer. Palmer grew up in Birmingham, Alabama, where he was a star athlete at Jackson Olin High School. He played a multitude of positions, but was a standout quarterback. Initially, he wasn't a highly touted quarterback due to his size of only 5 feet 8 inches and 170 pounds. Yet, by his senior year, it was impossible to deny his skills. His senior stats included 2,000 yards passing and 2,000 yards rushing, with 42 total touchdowns, taking the Jackson Olin Mustangs to the playoffs for the second time in their school's history. His success at the prep level attracted statewide and national attention. He was the number two recruit in the state, with scholarship offers from local powerhouse Alabama and Florida State led by the legendary coach Bobby Bowden. Palmer chose to play football at the University of Alabama. The Crimson Tide had the recruiting advantage being only an hour's drive from his hometown. Upon his arrival to campus, the coaching staff was conflicted on how to utilize such a versatile offensive weapon. Palmer possessed the elusiveness and an agility of an elite running back, the speed of a wide receiver, and the arm talent of a top-tier quarterback. With his multifaceted skill set, the Alabama coaches came up with the idea of having him take snaps under center. With his ability to take the snap and either run the ball with his blazing speed or passing it to a receiver for a big game, this caused confusion and frustration from opposing defenses. This particular offensive strategy later became known as the Wildcat offense. It's been used at the high school, college, and pro level. The success of the Wildcat is based on having an extra man advantage, in addition to having a versatile athlete lined up at the quarterback position. This creates an additional level of uncertainty for the defense. In addition, this causes matchup disadvantages due to having extra players to account for. In the 1992 season, the Alabama Crimson Tide, with the help of Palmer's offensive production, went undefeated, capping off their season with the 34-17 Sugar Bowl victory over the Miami Hurricanes to win the national championship. The following season, Palmer suffered an injury in the final game of his junior season against the Auburn Tigers. At the conclusion of his junior season, he was named Consensus All-American. He made an impact in nearly every offensive category. He had 102 receptions for 1,600 yards, 600 total rushing yards, 20 for 25 passing with three touchdowns, and four punt returns for touchdowns. Palmer decided to forego his senior year and enter the NFL draft. He was taken 40th overall by the Minnesota Vikings. He was used mostly as a return specialist in seven total seasons with the Vikings organization. In 1995, he led the league in return yards, while amassing a career total of 4,500 yards with five total touchdowns. After retiring from football in 2001, Palmer moved back to his hometown of Birmingham, Alabama. He, along with former teammate Sherman Williams, mentors at-risk youth and children with disabilities. I want to thank you for joining us on this incredible journey through the life and career of David Palmer, a true legend of college football. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay connected with the captivating stories of college football's greatest heroes, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. By subscribing, you'll never miss an episode of College Football Legends, where we celebrate the unforgettable players and moments that define the sport we love. Join our community of passionate fans, and let's keep the spirit of college football alive together.